In last episode, I arrived into Athens, Greece, and met with a bunch of YouTubers, including Michael and Joel from Bums on a Boat, Maddie and Herbie from The Rigging Doctor, Alex and Mandy from See the Little Things, Andy and his family from the Ocean Cruisers podcast, and Steve and Judy from Sailing Fair Isle. We caught a ferry from Athens to Syros. Ferry is like a cruise ship. Look at this thing. Is this the boat? This is it. After our four hour ferry ride, we arrive to Syros where we meet our charter host, George, with Sail with George. We start this episode about to leave the dock. Here we are planning our route. West and yeah, northeast, sorry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The thing is, we could we could go to Mykonos for the day. Then. We're here in the Cyclade, which includes several islands in the Aegean Sea. Our plan today is to sail to the famous Mykonos Island for the night. All right, we're getting ready to cast off the lines and leave the dock. With a little help from our neighbors, because the boat is sandwiched in right here, making it a little bit tricky to leave. But let's get at it. They pull over onto the key wall to check everything one last time, and mostly to pick me up since I was still on the dock using my drone. But now we're ready to go. Okay, so we've just gotten underway here. It's pretty wild to be around the uh, full group of YouTubers. Everybody's got their camera going nonstop, but it's pretty awesome too to be able to experience what everybody's been working on for several years, building their channels, learning to the full on cruising lifestyle, and then trying to share that with you all and maybe inspire you all to do something similar. But yeah, it's great to be here. Uh, we just left the little marina here, and now we're setting off to our first location. We're going to go to Mykonos for the evening. So looking, really looking forward to this, uh, the whole week ahead. I just wanted to take a moment real quick and kind of tell you what this means, I guess, you know, because I, I guess there's a maybe a tendency for viewers to think, oh, this is, you know, this guy's bragging and these people are just on this boat bragging about how they're in Greece and all this. We were talking about this last night as a group and that's not really it at all. We, we feel that we've been working hard to get to a level with our video creations and uh, on YouTube and we feel that we are finally, it's, you know, actually it feels so good to be able to collaborate with these other filmmakers essentially, you know, amateur filmmakers on YouTube that we do this either part time, some of them full time, uh, working on these videos, editing, sailing, filming, and now being able to actually meet others and to have that collaboration really feels good. Uh, and kind of a, we see it as a little bit of a payoff for the hard work. And I know you guys are like, oh yeah, hard work, you know, sailing and enjoying beautiful places. But you don't see the behind the scenes of hours of editing at the computer. Like, you know. With that said, we feel really honored to be here. Uh, honored to be able to share these experiences with you. And our goal is to capture the moments as best we can in an authentic way to share those moments with you. 
There's a little bit of wind here on the bow. I'll probably end up having to come up here on the bow quite a bit to talk to the camera because there's so much action and, and noises going on from everyone uh, where it will be tough to talk to the camera unless I find a little alone time to talk to you. So uh, really feels beautiful out here. As far as the uh, weather, the wind is light but the, the seas are completely calm. We're pretty much, we're having to motor. We have the mainsail up, even though we're not really using it. Um, so yeah, just ideal conditions and um, having a great time meeting these people. Anyway, enjoy, enjoy with us today and hopefully see some really cool sights. We tried to put up the sails for a bit, which worked, you know, for 20 minutes, but it, we were going very slow, so we ended up putting the, uh, the motor back on. Oh, sails are coming out again. Arriving to the south side of Mykonos. We head into this little cove here at Paraga Beach. As we get ready to anchor, I run up to the bow to get the windlass and anchor chain ready to go. Our friends Judy and Steve from Sailing Fair Isle have already arrived. That's their beautiful Hans Christian 48, which we will explore in more detail in a future episode. For now, we're watching our depth and trying to find a nice sandy spot to drop anchor. Here we go. Mandy is watching from the bow. We are scoping out the area to make sure we have good room. Here, Herbie teaches us how to tie a Magnus hitch to attach a bridle line to the anchor chain. Yeah. And then to undo it after it's been loaded, you just pull it to the side. Yeah. It comes this if you do a rolling hitch, it'll hold really strong if you want to untie it later. Okay. What's this one called? Uh, Magnus hitch. Magnus. Steve and Judy come over and we all get to know each other. Then, Alex and I go to inspect the anchor. We want to make sure it is set properly in the sand. So we grab some snorkel gear so we can take a look. There's the anchor right there, nicely set. Now back to the boat briefly, and then we want to go on shore to explore Mykonos before it gets dark. And just four of us decided to go, Maddie and Herbie, Michael and me. Taxi. Okay. It's the off season and no taxis would pick us up. That guy said he had another customer waiting. We then think we found a bus. Hi! Hello. 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 We're going back to Mykonos. We're going to Mykonos. Wait across. Okay. Oh, wait across there? We'll do. Okay. Um, okay, so we're just walking along this country road here. A lot of four wheelers going by but we're trying to get into the main port, Old Town Mykonos, and we're having a hard time. It's two and a half, three miles to walk. Uh, there's no taxis. We found a couple of taxis that went by. Nobody's picking us up. We did find a bus, so now we're waiting for the bus to do another route and then come back through this road, and we're hoping that it will pick us up. So we're just wanting to explore the Old Town and check out the island before it gets dark. Yeah. 
we've made it, we've made it finally. We waited for the bus for a while, now um, getting off Mykonos exploration. Well, we've made it. The quaint touristy town of Mykonos. Mykonos's nickname is the Island of the Winds, which I guess explains these old windmills built by the Venetians in the 16th century. It's a beautiful little town overlooking the island's main harbor. This part of town is called Little Venice. In this area, there are loads of nice restaurants and tourist shops. One thing to note about Mykonos are the prices. They are much higher here compared to other less touristy areas of Greece. You'll pay at least double at restaurants and grocery shops compared to on other islands. The town is known for its white buildings with blue doors and window shutters. And there are miles of these little curvy sidewalks that spread throughout the town. You can easily get lost as these sidewalks narrowly wind about throughout art galleries and trinket shops. It's a town definitely worth seeing, but it has a strong tourist vibe compared to the other, more authentic Greek towns. After our little land outing for the day, we make our way back to the boat for the evening. That does it for this episode. Join us next week when we visit some ancient ruins on the island of Delos. Thanks for watching.